Hey guys, welcome back. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to gravity bleed your brakes. Now this will work on a drum brake uh, wheel cylinder or it will work on a disc brake caliper, it doesn't matter. You can do this on one wheel, two wheel, three wheel, four wheel, or any combination of the above. Now in the last video, I replaced this wheel cylinder right here. It was the old one, it was leaking. And because I don't have anybody helping me, um, the normal procedure to bleed brakes would be to have somebody press on the pedal with pressure. I would have my bleeder hose and bottle connected right here. And I would open the line, you would get air and fluid out of there. They would hold it to the floor. You would shut the valve back off. They would bring the pedal back up and you would repeat this until you got all the air out of the line. Well, what are you supposed to do if you don't have somebody to help you? Well, you can gravity bleed it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very easy. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some of this uh, silicone paste. This is for brakes. And uh, as soon as I put this on, I'll show you what I did. I'm gonna put it on the threads of the bleeder screw. And the reason that I'm doing this is so that if there's any air that thinks it wants to get past the threads when I crack it open, it won't happen, okay? Please don't use regular grease for this because regular grease and brake components are not, I repeat, they're not compatible. So I'll show you exactly what I did. All I did was I put some silicone Put the silicone paste just right around the threads, just like that. I'm gonna take my bleeder wrench, put it right there. Take my bleeder hose, put it on just like that, and I'm just gonna open it, quarter to a half turn, and here's the bottle. You're gonna see air coming out of there. We're just going to sit here and watch that. And there's no need to hit the brakes whatsoever. Um, just make sure you keep your reservoir completely full. And after all the air is out of here, then uh, no more air will come out. So this will take probably about 10 minutes. And this is a, it's a really good way to bleed your brakes. Um, you can actually do both uh, rear wheels if you want at the same time. But um, yeah, this works really good. I've done this for years. You'll get a nice, solid, firm pedal. Just make sure when you go to test your brakes, you make sure to put the um, cylinder back on because if you were to press the brakes without the wheel cylinder blocking the uh, brake shoes, that could potentially blow out one of these, uh, one of these little uh, pistons right here. So we'll, uh, I'll just put this on time lapse and we'll see how long it takes. <laughs> 